use a dragonflies. Don't need dragonflies. I've never tried one. Nobody eats dragonflies. This is crickets. crickets. These are water beetles. I don't need water beetles. They're tarantulas. Well, I especially don't need tarantulas. Or some big spiders, anyway. I knew you'd have a problem. So I've got you some hard boiled eggs, Hank. Is, is this, a, this is a cricket. A short look. You see that? Do you eat it or do you disembowel it and then eat the flesh? And just eat oh it? my God! It's got a bird in it! What? Oh. Um, I don't know how to park a boat, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. I think that went well. Right. Stop moving around! I parked you! <laughs> No. OK. It's impossible to think how this could be worse. And there it is! in a grown man's bedroom. Hang on, he's going backwards. Why is he doing that? He is absolutely hopeless. He's got one, uh, one knob and one wheel. Oh, here he comes. He's coming. He's, he's trying a new technique here. Oh, he's broken his flagpole. I just thought of something. I haven't cruised in my boat. So I quickly organised an official ceremony. May God bless this ship and all who sail in her. That's what it's like when the Queen does it. <laughs> Good thing is I've now got a bottle of wine on my, uh, my boat, which is called Dumas, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it means boat machine. Oh, cock. The cushion's in the water. So if I go full right steering, stop. What the bloody hell it? Thank you. You're a lifesaver. It's very hot. What's that woman with the gold outfit? That looks Hindu. Is it very old? Yes. It is? Oh. Are these old as well? Yes. We'll have another one for the other armpit. We have played jokes on one another before, but I'm not sure we've ever pulled one as good as this. From where Richard Hammond is standing, he has no idea what James and I have done. <laughs> I've just seen it! What? What you've done to my boat. Have I been...? Yes, all day. How have I not seen that all day? You haven't seen day? it all day. You've been through... Cambodian customs, yes. Vietnamese immigration, oh Vietnamese customs. Oh my God! You've driven I probably a hundred miles down the Mekong. I waved at people. Hi. Thing is, Hammond, it's very bad luck to change the name of a boat. Oh God! Hey guys, this is the first time we've run under our own steam as a three. Yeah, it feels good. I'm not sure it feels that good though, does it? Do you know what might feel better? Very funny. 
looks nice, this, mate, isn't it? Bloody fabulous. I wonder why they fitted the kill switch on the outside. I'll... I'll put it there so you don't lose it. Right, gotta get on. Don't be a cock, Hammond. <sighs> What's that no, do? Leave it. What is it? It's... You know what it is. I Stop don't know being what it an is. arse. Just turn the engine. Why is the, outs why is the ignition key on the outside? It's in case you have a crash. It's really annoying. <sighs> Mustn't lose that. <laughs> a dusty and grimy May choose not to join me for lunch. Great. Now the pool's got a muddy dog in it. Chaps, are you interested in treasure or not? Hundred million pounds worth, available this way. How far is this place? We don't know. Libertalia, it doesn't exist anyway. Well, it We're does heading... exist. Well, it, could... well, it doesn't it exist. Well, it did. They wrote about it, but did... no... Well, yeah, they wrote about Narnia. It means it existed. I noticed Jeremy had got himself a new number plate. I just can't work it out, MFB. Must fondle buttocks. Middle-aged... Hmm. You've got a number plate as well. Fury, as in Fury? As in the tank. For my car? That is... Yes, so you can put Fury on it. Oh, I say. It doesn't actually mean that here, exactly. What's it mean here? Well, the Y, the Y, means lady part. So what that actually says is furry lady part. With the entire crew loaded on board and May's booze lorries, I decided to give him a present. To the ladies and gentlemen at home, it's pixelated. It's only visible to the naked eye. Oh, that's quite a strong message. I mean, obviously, you can't read it, because, as I say, it's magic. We can see exactly what it says, that's, and it's... That's when it's stationary. Does it still work if it moves? <laughs> Let's <laughs> test how good it is as magic. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, that is turds. Jesus! Oh, the water is like a bath. Someone's had diarrhea in. Bollock. Oh, ah! Ah! Oh, shitty death. We'd need food, so he began with a Bear Grylls hostile environment classic, the improvised beach oven. When you've finished digging your pit, line it with some of the rocks, about half. Then I'm going to light a fire on top of these rocks. I could light a fire in any one of a number of ways here. A piece of broken glass from the sea, focused light from the sun onto a leaf. I'm going to ask the crew for a lighter. There, it's working. And as Bear Grylls says, three words in survival. First class travel and five star accommodation or I won't do it. I went in search of bananas. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Shit! OK. And eventually, our survival rations came together. Ah. Banana daiquiri. Really? Yep, banana, coconut, milk <coughs> and rum. Fantastic. Where'd you get the rum from? Back of the Bentley. We've been given these sort of emergency ration packs. <clears throat> so what I do is take the top off there, and that's the food, which is, I don't know, beans and sausages. That goes in there, and then I add a little drop of water. I presume this triggers some sort of chemical reaction with whatever it is in the little bag of stuff. I don't think that's working. If there's no heat, I'd get more out of a hand warmer. Oh, wait a minute, it's inflating. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, no, this... Ah! 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 It's out... Oh! Oh, that's so hot! Oh, I'm burning my balls! Ow! Soon, Pirate Island hove into view, and we prepared to disembark. Parks on! Where are my shoes? It's going to be brilliant, this car. These are teething problems. I'm doing something new here. I'm literally reinventing the wheel and, you know. Oh. Oh. Ah! 
Oh, good. Here comes a gloating orangutan. What's happened? Oh, I know. Even I, with my limited knowledge, is able to work out that's not right. It's not, is it? What sort of Cadillac do you suppose Mays bought? Eventually. After 20 feet of waiting. We got the answer. The car now arriving at platforms four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Are you aware that your car appears to be talking as it goes along? No, I'm unaware of that. The front bumper is 17 miles in front of where I'm sitting. Yes. If you've just joined us, it's a difficult story to unpack. Right now, he's probably on three down. You know when they used to shout scramble in the war? Yes. No. Oh, can you imagine if he was a hurricane pilot? No. I reckon you're about there, Hammond. We assumed James wouldn't discover our mischief until he drove off. However, we didn't have to wait that long. He's no. going to be cross. Oh, no! Shit! What? I'm sorry, that was hilarious. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what is missing from this picture? <laughs> it was just epic. I've never seen anything like it. Well, the if tow put... bar's come off. Yeah. The tow bar has come off. Oh, dear, that's... If you put that in a Tom was... and Jerry cartoon, it would be absurd. <laughs> what would that have happened on the A9? Well, that would have been shouting. But where am I going to sleep tonight? There. That's where your caravan is. I'm not sure we're blending in terribly well on this perfectly straightforward shooting weekend. Well, it could be worse. Oh. <laughs> what are you wearing? Yeah, I know. I've overdone this. I am sweating with embarrassment. Well, you're lucky. After what happened in Argentina, I can't sweat. Really? No. No, not a thing. This was inspired by my car. It's misled me. If you saw a classic Mustang, say a dark green one, and it was being driven by Richard Hammond, all you can see is his face just yeah. sticking up above the steering yeah. wheel. But you'd still think, I bet he's wearing cowboy boots. And he is. The only thing he doesn't do that he should, as an American car enthusiast, is play golf. Yeah. Or do you mean, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Have you, you got something yeah. you'd like to share? My name's Richard Hamden. and I've taken up golf recently. I've been having lessons. Seriously? Yeah. I've bought a set of golf clubs, and I've been having lessons. Twice a week, at my local golf course. Right. Are you ready? We're setting off. has gone upside Ooh. down again. <laughs> what the? Oh, jeez. How has he done? <laughs> I'll pull you in. Weirdly, none of the other locals would lend us a boat after that. Honestly, driving this, I feel like Elvis Presley. What, dead on a lavatory? <laughs> oh, my God, how much burgundy can you get in one car? It's like an American motel room. What? Sit, Rab. I am the meat in an incompetent sandwich. It's all right, it's started. 
Right, gentlemen, we are ready back here. In three, two, one, now. <laughs> It bloody works. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Hello and welcome to the enormous catapult machine that we built to keep ourselves amused during the COVID lockdown. I've no idea what we're going to use it for, but who knows? Maybe something will come to mind as we set out in this show to answer an important question. What is the matter with the French? Even the brake pedal's weird, because it's effectively a switch. The brakes are on or they're off. It's just about impossible to use it properly. Probably easier when you get to your destination to just um, do a George Michael. It's from the 80s, mid-engines, two-seater sports car. Except it's got three seats. I suppose maybe if my wife and my mistress want to go out for a drive at the same time, I've got that covered. It won't Are you ready? start. I really thought that was it. It's the definition of anticlimax, <laughs> isn't it? This would make a great ambulance or fire yeah. engine. Brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah. Throttle set. Throttle set. Here we go. Yes. Don't worry. Monsieur Ericat is on his way in the emergency vehicle. Don't worry, how big is the fire? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. These pains in your chest, are they getting worse or better? <laughs> right, mag on. I tell you what, a stall at the lights would be a bugger, wouldn't it? <laughs> if I were in my car, I'd look at that space and go, well, that's too small. And then I'd go find another. But that's not what a French person would do. There's nothing extreme about this manoeuvre in France. This is how you park. You would see this any day of the week on any street in Paris. It's actually for precisely this reason that the Renault 5 was the first production car in the world with deformable bumpers. I've just bought this dishwasher, and as you can see, it doesn't quite fit in the boot of this Peugeot. Now, because I'm British, what I'd do now is go and buy a slightly smaller dishwasher, or I'd borrow a slightly bigger car from a mate, or I'd probably have it delivered. What the French would do is this. Oh, melt. Just give them a hand through here. Lovely. Merci, monsieur. Soon we reached the halfway point, where I demonstrated the Citroen Berlingo's party trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's John! Ah! Monsieur, où ouais. est la boulangerie? Il est là. Ouais. 200 mètres. Super. Sous -moi. Merci. Oh là là. Au revoir, monsieur. Merci, monsieur. Ah, monsieur May. Go on. Oh, dear. Oh, merde. Bonjour, monsieur. I just had a thought. What? Your dishwasher. Oh, God, my dishwasher, because Hammond drove into me. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I wasn't concentrated. Where's your boot release? Ah. Oh. Is it in the door? Yes. <laughs> ah. Right. <laughs> That's a design flaw. <laughs> Not my chance. <laughs> yep, she gave me the finger. She's definitely a French woman. That's the real deal there. Ah. 